if I had to sum up Grayson in one word, it'd be resilient. You know, he's labeled with intellectual disabilities. He's labeled with Asperger's. But Grayson does not define himself with those labels. He was diagnosed with cancer in middle school, and he became a St. Jude patient. The DNF Charity Trust is uh, a charity that is organized by the owners. Uh, it's a chance to give back for the way we've been blessed and the owners have been blessed. There are a lot of people out there that, that have a need and it's, it's a responsibility of those that are, that are blessed to be able to help. DNF has done so much for our kids. Um, there's many things that insurance will not pay for that our kids need. When you have a mom come in and she's so upset because the doctor has told her that her child um, will never walk and then a few years later you see that same child um, running down the clinic hall. A win for, for us at the end of the day is to see a child or a adolescent, a teenager, meet their maximum potential. Uh, they have so many challenges that they face when you have a disability. And so uh, a win for us is to see a child maybe hear for the first time when their hearing aids are turned on or if they get an augmentative communication device to help them talk and they say, mommy for the first time or take a step in a gait trainer because they've never walked before. That's a win for us. Sometimes insurance pays for those things that they need, but a lot of times they don't and that's where we rely on DNF Foundation as a community resource to help us uh, reach that goal for that family or have that child's needs met. My name is Olivia Burrell and in 2015 I got really sick with neurological Lyme disease. DNF Charity has impacted my life in the sense that I'm me again. The cost each month was $8,000 out of pocket and DNF Charity Trust would send a check for half of that amount each month to her doctor in Washington DC for us to be able to afford the treatment. What has the charity done? It has allowed Grayson to absolutely live out his dream of being a show choir teacher or a show choir assistant director. What is it going to feel like when we're sitting in Auburn in a few years and you get to watch my son who came to me his sophomore year and said, you know, Dad, will I ever go to college? And now he's going to graduate. I get questions about working with children with special needs and they're like, oh, that's so sad. How do you do that? And I'm like, it's not sad because these children have pureness of emotions, pure joy, pure anger, pure frustration. DNF Foundation will come in um, and provide uh, financial support for equipment that's life changing and we are so thankful for the financial funding and for the people who donate to this foundation they impact children that they'll never meet thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart thank you